In a previous video we had talked about this being the edge view of this plane. So if we want to look straight at it and we want to see the true size and the true shape of the plane, we'd have to look perpendicular to that view. <clears throat> so in this case, I need to do that. So, But I can't do it based on a, a standard folding line. So what I need to do is make a new folding line that's parallel to this, li this line here. So if I do a polyline, oops, I don't need to do that yet. First I need to, to get it so I can draw parallel to this line. So I could copy that line out and, and I'd have a, one that I could turn into a folding line that's now parallel to it that I can project out against. But an easier way to do it is to use the UCS. So if I use UCS and I use the object option, so OB, then I can pick on that line. It's so now my UCS is turned so I can draw parallel and perpendicular to that as much as I want. So I can go to the folding plane, draw a folding plane line out like that. <coughs> go, and go back to my construction layer. Now I can do some connecting of points so I can offset. I still need to be able to offset those ones down. So if I draw my lines out and now I can go ahead and offset. So I'm going to offset from B to the folding plane and the folding plane out. And then from C to the folding plane, folding plane out. Just like I was before, but now instead of going out to the side, I'm going off of the angle defined by the plane. So now if I go to make my plane, it started on C at the close line, B to the second line, A to the last line, and I can close it. Now I have the true shape and the true size I can measure the actual distances along those as I go around. In this case, we don't have an edge view already defined. So in order to get an edge view, what we need to do is we need to have what's called a true length line. But what, what a true length is, is it means we can actually measure that line. So <coughs> if we had an uh, inclined plane, we could, we could measure along it. But in order to have a true length line in one view, it needs to be parallel to the to current folding plane. So if I drew a line from point A straight across like that, Now I have that. So if I bring this point here down to point B and C and back to A, now this line here is true length. So now I can project off of that to get an edge view. So what I need to do is again turn my UCS to an object. I'm going to go off of this line. What I'm going to do now, instead of going parallel like I did once I already have the edge view, I'm going to go perpendicular to this true length line and that'll give me an edge view. So if I draw this over here, and I can delete that and I'll go ahead and connect my points so I can offset. Once again, I can't use my, my polar tracking to go down because my UCS is turned. So I'm going to go ahead and offset from point A, point C, and point B. So from point B, I know that's my furthest point, point A is my second point and point C was my first point. If I draw a line, you'll see that it, from going from point A to point C, it goes, or from C to B, it goes through point A. No matter how far I zoom in, it's perfectly lined up right there. 
So I might want to bring those down. So this was B. There's A. And there's C, just so we don't get get lost. I can delete that. Uh, maybe I'll leave this one because I'm going to be projecting again. So I need to have this line here. So I don't really need this line here and that line there anymore. Those are just to get me the, the right angle for this. <clears throat> and now from here, I can go out. So just yes, object there. And I can do my line, turn it into a folding plane so I don't forget. And so from C to C, from A to A, and from B to B. So C goes out to the furthest line, A goes to the shortest line, and B goes to the middle line. And then I can connect those might as well turn that one into the plane layer also so I can see how it's all going. So you can see how the points project back through the views. So now this is the true shape view. So I had to come through, I had to find a true length line. Once I found the true length, I can make an edge view. From the edge view, I can go to this. So that's how it works.